Jermaine Ellis. You are not a real explorer if you don't go to the Mission District. Yo, 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 another day, another adventure where your homeboy Jermaine. And by popular demand, a lot of people want me to go to the Mission District. So, let go over to the Mission District. Let's go to the Mission District. And I thought I would answer a very, very simple question. A lot of people I ask all the time. All the time I get this question, Jermaine, why do you always stay downtown? This is the most, most asked question. I ate crap on this right here not too long ago. So if you're ever skating in this area, watch out for this line here. I literally ate crap. I fell over here and the skateboard went like across the street and luckily it was no cars coming. Um, so that was pretty cool, but like it was like right along here, like it was it was it was bad, it was scary. Um, I actually didn't get hurt at all, like, uh, but it wasn't the com most comfortable thing. But anyway, people ask me this question, and it's early in the morning, my eyes are watering. But people ask me this question, Jermaine, why don't you go to the Mission District? Why don't you go to other neighborhoods? Why are you always downtown? And I don't know. This is pretty easy to answer. Well, I live downtown. And I don't have a car, I'm usually on the skateboard. And it's very convenient to, to stay less than 1.5 miles from where I live. So when I'm downtown, I usually go to the financial district, I usually go to Soma, you know, I usually go through the TL, maybe go up the hills every every now and then. If, if it's, um, you know, if it's flat, like I'll go to the marina district, you know, take the Embarcadero along, along that route. But for the most part, I just stay where, I just stay close to downtown, you know? The Mission District is up ahead and it's a place that, when I first came to the city, when I first moved to the city, I, I would come to the Mission District all the time because you would hear about the Mission District, like go to the Mission, go to the Mission, go to the Mission. And the Mission is actually pretty cool because it's, it's very flat for the most part. There's no like big hills. There is a skate park here, which is pretty cool. It's an amazing skate park. But yeah, when I first moved to the city, I came to the Mission District more. I'll even show you guys an Airbnb that I stayed at. It's along Valencia Street here. And I got some more stories for you. But yeah, this is just... I'm filming this video early in the morning. So yesterday, I didn't make a video. I, well, actually, I was gonna make a video, but yesterday I went on a date. I went like outside of the city, and we went like hiking and stuff like that. And we had a really, really good time. And I, I was gonna like vlog, but I thought let's not vlog because it's not like San Francisco related. And lately, my videos have been going really, really crazy on San Francisco. So. So um, I just thought, I don't, I don't think I want to make a video. So I just woke up early this morning to make a quick video. And wow, this is Valencia Street here. God, this place has changed. I remember they just put this here. They just built that and it um they, they closed outdoor dining. Oh my gosh, I bet that's gotta be so annoying. Like so many businesses, they spent so much money on the outdoor dining, on building out these areas for people to sit. And then all of a sudden, you have to close everything, you know? And it's like, yo, I just spent $10,000 on building my restaurant in the street and now I have to close, you know? And um, I noticed a lot of these restaurants, they use these uh, these heaters, right? With the gas, with the gas heaters down below. And um, it, 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 back at my hotel, I noticed that they have some of those, but they're electric. And I was wondering why won't, won't restaurants use the electric ones?
Yeah, like I said, it's really early in the morning. We can see a lot of artwork. For the most part, this is Valencia Street here. This is the whole trendy area. When we get up here, we'll cut through some alleys and we will we'll go to the real mission. Because this is uh this is Disneyland mission here. This is exactly what you would call this Disneyland mission. Now, this is a little alley. There's lots of artwork in this alley. This changes all the time, by the way. So who knows, maybe in like a few weeks, it's totally different. That's why I like to video this because it, it changes all the time, you know? And it's just a whole bunch of like really, really cool artwork. It's actually kind of hard to film because it's so much, you know? I'm trying to like film slowly, so if you guys want to like take screenshots, if you're watching this like on a, on a computer, um, if you go to like 4K60 on like a computer and you can take screenshots and you can have some really, really dope photos from your computer. You can also do this on an iPad and you know, 1080p, but it would look much better if you have it in if you have it in 4K. You know, it's kind of hard to film this. It's kind of hard to film it because it's so much. This city is not for sale. I think the city is already sold. And that's where we're gonna get into our next topic here. Because I'm just not gonna just talk about the Mission District without talking about something that's gonna make people think, all right? The city is not for sale. Who says the city's not for sale? Who said the city's not already sold? So I hear lots of rumors about Amazon. I hear lots of rumors that Amazon wants to buy up the whole city. And when I mean buy the whole city, I'm not talking about like buy every single house, but like, you know, own a large chunk of the city. We'll see how that goes. Here, Amazon wants to get into housing. So if they get into housing, who knows what can happen? But come on, how many things can a freaking company be involved in, yo? Oh, I like this one. It's very colorful. This is new. It's very new. It's very colorful, y'all. Yeah. Like they just they just made this. Like it's just very, very bright and living. This one's been up here for a little bit. But it's still beautiful on camera, I tell you. No war. No band, no wall. This, this little house over here. And then of course we got some George Floyd. And then we got lots of artwork hanging from the lights up here. Lots of artwork, yo. Lots of shoes. Those are a ton of shoes. It's really quiet out today. You know, in an alley like this, it's kind of quiet in, in an alley like this because it's not a lot of traffic.
All right, I've been on this alley for too long. Let's go. So I remember right when I moved to the city, right when I moved to the city, my ex-girlfriend and I were looking for a place. And it was really, really difficult to find a place, but it was really easy to find jobs. And I remember staying at this place, this hotel, which was on Airbnb. We stayed there for like a couple nights and I remember parking the car like 15 blocks away, like deep, deep, way over there. And I think like, 20th and Cesar Chavez or something like that. It was so far away. No, not 20th and Cesar Chavez. 20th and um, like 20th and Folsom or something. Like it was just so far away. Like I don't know if that's 15 blocks, but it back then it sure did feel like 15 blocks. They built all these new places here recently, like here. And when we go, we're gonna go farther up Mission. There's a lot more new places that they built. And you know, it's very controversial. Like a lot of people in this neighborhood, they don't want any more construction. They don't want any more construction. But the problem is, if you if you if you want no construction and you're still having kids and you want your kids to live here where are they going to live if there's no construction you know so you, you kind of you kind of have to build you know i totally understand how they they don't want like skyscrapers but to just say like no construction that's kind of like saying i mean how can you say no construction when when you have people sleeping in tents everywhere you know and what happens when a building catches on fire like do you just want no construction like don't build something in the place because building fires happen a lot here like it's very very common you know i don't know if it's arson or i don't know if it's uh you know a legitimate fire but you definitely hear about fires happening out here a lot and then usually after a fire you see a fancy building go up or not necessarily a fancy building go up but you see some new building go up there is lots of Lots of graffiti out. Lots of tagging, I should say. Because it's one thing, like artwork is one thing, but like that is something, that's not exactly artwork when you spray paint on the windows. The mission district. It is a cold morning today, guys. Look at that place. Got all the windows covered up. <laughs> I remember when they built this place. Oh my gosh, there was a lot of fight over that one. There's a lot of fight. No, don't build it. No, no gentrification. And then I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they're gonna build another, another, another pack and seconds. <laughs> Sketchers. I don't, I don't think I've. I don't think I've ever noticed that Skechers store, actually. It has a lot of... It has a lot of art edition on the wall. Now, on a 
normal day, I would not come way up here in the Mission District just to keep it real. There was this restaurant I used to go to up here that they went out of business. It was a victim of the pandemic. Oh, we're already at 23rd. Oh, look at that truck. Completely tagged it off. <laughs> Alright, you cannot go to the Mission District without cruising out 24th. So right now we're cruising down 24th and this is what we got going on. I totally saw that car turning, by the way. This was a popular caviar pickup spot. Smells like food out here. Okay guys, so this is a mission district. I thought I would just cruise through and make a video. Like I say, like I don't really know that much about the mission district. And in the middle of the pandemic, the places I do know are like, a lot of them are pretty much closed down, you know? So, here we have it. We got the mission district. We got Alabama on 23rd. So anyway, I'm out. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, yo. I'm so cold, my eyes are watering like crazy. Mm -hmm. ah.